Welcome back everybody, my name is Brendan Dickinson and today we're talking about Unreal Engine 5. You may have stumbled across the Matrix or Valley of the Ancient tech demos and been wondering what's Unreal Engine 5, what's all this hype about? Well today I'm going to be talking about what exactly Unreal Engine is and why it is such a big step forward for game engines and real-time rendering, as well as who made it, some of the key features of Unreal Engine 5, and some helpful resources if you decide to start using Unreal Engine. So let's jump right into it. Now before I get into the details of the fifth version, I wanted to explain what Unreal Engine actually is. Unreal Engine is similar to Unity. It's a 3D real-time game engine developed by Epic Games, more specifically Tim Sweeney, the founder of Epic Games, and was first showcased in the 1998 FPS game Unreal. Now, if you're wondering what a real-time game engine actually is, you should check out my What is Unity video where I do a deeper explanation of what that actually means. It was initially developed for PC first-person shooters, but has been used in a variety of genres of 3D games since then, and has seen adoption by other industries, most notably the film and television industry. For example, it was used in Disney's The Mandalorian. It's written in C++ and features a high degree of portability, supporting a wide range of desktop, mobile, console, and VR platforms. Since 2015, it can be downloaded for free with its source code available on GitHub. All right, so now that we know what Unreal Engine is, let's talk about Unreal Engine 5. Unreal Engine 5 is the newest version of Unreal Engine. Early access for it was announced in May 2021 with the full release expected early 2022. So what's so special about Unreal Engine 5? Well, take a look at this clip of their tech demo and you can see for yourself. I remember when I first watched this, I almost couldn't believe it. You might be thinking, I've seen these kinds of graphics before in movies and TV shows, what's so special about this? The thing that makes this so special is that it's done in real time, it's not pre-rendered. That means this isn't a movie or cutscene that you're just watching play out and that'll be the same every single time. It's an interactive experience that you can change and manipulate on the fly. This is the most impressive display of real-time graphics I have ever seen in my life, and I've been working with these game engines for a decade. So how is Unreal Engine able to do all this? Well, it comes down to several key features. The first one I want to talk about is Nanite. Nanite is a virtualized micro-polygon geometry system. It allows you to directly import film quality models with tens of millions of polygons, anything from ZBrush sculpts to photogrammetry scans, and place them millions of times, all while maintaining a real-time frame rate with no loss of fidelity. I know that's a lot of big words, but essentially this means they allow you to use very high quality models and many of them in real time and not worry about performance. Previously, you would have had to create lower detail versions of these models called LODs in order to create a decent frame rate, which can be extremely time consuming and obviously won't look as nice. Next is the Lumen Lighting Engine. Lumen is a fully dynamic global illumination solution that lets you create dynamic, believable scenes where indirect lighting adapts on the fly to changes to direct lighting or geometry. For example, changing the sun's angle with the time of day, turning on a flashlight or opening an exterior door. With Lumen, you no longer have to author light map UVs, wait for light maps to bake, or place reflection captures, all of which can be quite time consuming you can now just create and edit the lights inside the editor and see the same final lighting as when the game is running. Another focus of Unreal Engine 5 is open worlds, and you can see that with this Matrix demo. Epic wanted to make the creation of open worlds faster, easier, and more collaborative for teams of all sizes. With Unreal Engine 5, a new world partition system changes how levels are managed and streamed, automatically dividing the world into a grid and streaming the necessary cells. Team members can now also simultaneously work on the same region at the same time without any conflict thanks to a new one file per actor system with data layers 
You can create different variations of the same world, such as a daytime and nighttime version, as layers that exist in the same space. Animation is another big focus of Unreal Engine 5. In an attempt to help animators with their workflow, Unreal Engine now has built-in animation capabilities. Before, animators would have to work in a different software and go back and forth when testing animations, but not anymore. Artist-friendly tools like Control Rig let you quickly create rigs and share them across multiple characters, pose them in Sequencer, and save and apply those poses with the new Pose browser. You can also easily create natural movement with the new Full Body IK Solver. And with motion warping, you can dynamically adjust a character's root motion to align to different targets with a single animation. All this is to say that you can now fully animate inside of the Unreal Engine. Metasounds is another key feature of Unreal Engine 5 and is a high performance system that offers complete control over audio DSP graph generation of sound sources, letting you manage all aspects of audio rendering to drive next generation procedural audio experiences. Metasounds brings all the benefits of procedural content creation to audio. Dynamic data-driven assets, the ability to map game parameters to sound playback, huge workflow improvements, and much more. Another big update from Unreal Engine in the fifth version is the editor workflow. In Unreal Engine 5, the Unreal Editor gets a makeover with an updated visual style, streamlined workflows, and optimized use of screen real estate, making it easier, faster, and more pleasing to use. To free up more space for viewport interactions, they've added the ability to easily summon and stow the content browser and to dock any editor tab to a collapsible sidebar. You can now quickly access frequently used properties in the details panel with a new favoriting system, while the new create button on the main toolbar lets you easily place actors into your world. There's also a streamlined, easier workflow for creating new projects. This was one of my biggest issues with previous Unreal engines, and I think them updating the user experience and the editor workflow will make it much easier for people to get into the engine and enjoy learning it. With only a couple key features left, that brings us to the Chaos Physics engine. Chaos Physics is a lightweight physics simulation solution available in Unreal Engine 5, built from the ground up to meet the needs of next generation games. Some of the features that are included in the system are cloth physics, fluid and hair simulation, vehicle physics, real-time destruction, and ragdoll physics. That brings us to the last big thing that I want to talk about, which is MetaHuman, realistic humans and facial animations. MetaHuman Creator is a free cloud-based app that empowers anyone to create photorealistic digital humans, complete with hair and clothing in minutes. MetaHumans comes fully rigged and ready to animate in your Unreal Engine projects. All these points are very deep and interesting topics, so I'll probably be doing separate videos on each of them at some point. Let me know in the comments if that would interest you. For the last section of this video, I wanted to include a list of resources that might be helpful to you guys if you're using Unreal Engine. First off, there's the documentation. This will be important while learning the engine and API. I usually don't look at the documentation unless I'm trying to do something specific and I want to know how I can accomplish it in engine. There's also the forums where you'll find topics and discussions about all things related to Unreal Engine 5. There was an answer hub where you could find answers to common questions or post your own, but this has since moved over to the forums under the Q&A section, so check that out if you have a question or issue. There's a couple online learning resources for UE5 if you're just jumping in, or if you'd like to upgrade a project from Unreal Engine 4 to Unreal Engine 5. There are many demos available, including the Valley of the Ancient and Matrix demos that I've been referencing throughout this video, as well as many other smaller demos which you can find a list of on their samples page. To end this video, I wanted to leave you with a quote from Tim Sweeney, the CEO of Epic Games. The big goal with the Unreal technology all along was to build up a base of code that could be extended and improved through many generations of games. Meeting that goal required keeping the technology quite general purpose, writing clean code, and designing the engine to be very extensible. The early plans to design an extensible multi-generational engine happened to give us a great advantage in licensing the technology as it reached completion. After we did a couple of licensing deals, we realized it was a legitimate business. Since then, it has become a major component of our strategy. Tim Sweeney, Maximum PC, 1998. I wanted to showcase this to explain Tim Sweeney and Epic Games' philosophy when it comes to Unreal Engine. From the beginning, they wanted this to be software that was continually improved over generations and constantly innovating in order to be cutting edge. This is software that's been out for over 20 years, and it's still one of the most impressive pieces of software that exists in the world today. 
This is great news for anybody that's wanting to learn Unreal Engine or that is currently using it because that means that it's not going away anytime soon. That's it for me. If you enjoyed this video, leave a like. If you'd like to see more content like this in the future, please subscribe. And if you have any questions, leave them in a comment below. I'd be happy to answer them. Have fun creating and I'll see you next time.